If you guys are watching this video, I am most likely gone in Europe. I'm officially on my trip right now. Hopefully everything is going well. I'm excited. I'm gonna be taking a little bit of a break, you know, from a recording from business and all that cool stuff. But as you guys know, I did want to bring an episode of the road to rank one before I leave. I can't leave without leaving you guys with some good old content, right? At least I'll have like one or two videos per week uh, for you guys to kind of indulge yourselves in and uh, kind of enjoy, right? So that's my main purpose at the moment. Uh, so we're playing some Hellholt. As you guys know, Road to Rank 1 is going goddamn well. And we are currently page one. Page one, it does not get better than that among the top players. I mean, it's still like a pretty much like an old school ranked system. Like it's probably, it's obviously very flawed. We've discussed this on stream multiple freaking times. But listen, we're still going to have some fun. We're still going to like play around with the uh, the new system and all that stuff. Even though it's not the best at the moment. I think we're going to have some fun. I'm going to strive to go for rank one and, you know, hope for the best at least, right? Uh, what I'm going to do is build some of these new units, which we're going to be, touch, you know, kind of talking a little bit about shortly, shortly, for sure. Uh, we're playing with uh, our boys, as you guys know, Poppy and Fabi. So uh, these are pretty much my ranked partners uh, at the moment. So let's kind of go with the LMS. Three, two, one, boom. 16 and 98, pretty much where we left off on stream last time. We are officially one game off of 1,700 ELO, guys. If I remember correctly, that puts me on uh, close to four, uh, rank 14 or rank 15, if I remember correctly. It's still really freaking good. Uh, I'm really excited to keep climbing and, you know, just, you know, making some noise, shaking. You know, I, dude, I, I, I really want to get rank 1. I feel like it's possible. It's going to be a difficult task, as you guys know. But with, every, with literally everything in life, takes quite a bit of dedication and uh yeah i mean it's gonna be tough at the end of the day it's not gonna be easy climb it's gonna be harder one for sure but i feel like it's definitely possible we're, we're gonna be you know losing a lot of elo we're gonna be very emotional throughout the process it's not gonna be easy right that's part of the fun of this climb i guess you could say uh yeah again it's it kind of min maxing with the uh the, the protons or the the souls i should say right they're kind of like uh, weird units to play around with. So I, we still don't know how to properly play them. Uh, but essentially what they do is you place a little bit like a proton, very low range, chaos damage. And whenever it dies, it actually transfers the uh, the damage, right? To the nearby soul. So like this soul will gain permanent 10 extra damage, right? Which is super good. Um, we'll see it in play. I'll upgrade it once uh, for you guys to see. I can actually go for, you know what I'm, I'm going to do is probably sell you and start building some tbs because the thing is like round four has been buffed as you guys know so i'm going to be playing it's safe with a few tbs archon soul has 20 to 25 damage um quite a bit like it's I don't, honestly i think it's a bad unit but i'm just for the purpose of this video i'm going to be showcasing it okay it's obviously very, it's not that good look at the range of it it sucks you see them like kind of tping around so look at look at this right so you see one of them died and we summon archon souls you see how op that is so the second, it, 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 like, they multiply. Wait, this is crazy. So whenever this one dies, it, it jumps to, like, an Archon Soul. You, you saw that? That's crazy, man. Wait, you're so, dude, that, I mean, it looks fun, right? They look like really fun units, right? Those look like very fun units. I do want to explore them more in the, in the future. But as you guys saw, the lower tier unit, the Soul... Is going to multiply into the higher tier unit, if I remember correctly. Or at least they transfer the damage. Again, I, I'm going to have to watch that back in replay. And kind of like really understand this, this unit. And see like the, the mechanics and all that stuff. Because I feel like they seem a little bit odd. It's definitely a new dynamic. It brings a new dynamic to the game. Which I, I feel like I'm obviously down for. But uh, yeah, it, it's just kind of confusing. To say the least, right? It's just kind of confusing. And again, as you guys know, we're pretty much playing with very high tier players. Look at these, 1300. Let's rage so we don't freaking forget. Uh, send in our Archons. It's, I'm kind of curious to see how this one plays out. 1300 ELO on this uh, green guy. Obviously, very good player. Incognito, very, you know, uh, very known player. He, he's he's kind of like a coin flip sometimes, but he's, he's decent. Listen, he's decent, right? Uh, and I don't even know about yellow. It doesn't really matter. I feel like we're playing like with... Decent player, so I feel like it should be a pretty good matchup. But this game, again, has been, like, 
like changed quite a bit. Let's, I want to see the interaction of these freaking Archon souls. They're just dying at the moment and just multiplying to the next one, which is nice. I mean, I'm, I'm freaking leaking here. How? Wait. I, I, I'm being scammed here, boys. I'm literally being scammed. <laughs> I thought I would do so well. Considering the units that I have. Eh, whatever. A few leaks, you know, this guy rate. By the way, for people that are watching this and are kind of confused, we have, I think we have five surges in total, if I remember. So it's kind of normal for people to utilize. So Seraphim has been nerfed a little bit. Um, it ha I think you have a little bit more extra surges, if I understand correctly. This is most likely a bug. So you could get them quite early. You could get them earlier. It could start surging. So it's quite a bit of HP. So it's worth getting uh, Seraphim for sure. Uh, so you use 400 value, right? 400 value to get a tank that has 7.5k HP. So I guess this is technically meta to play them even before 10. Which I feel like it's a pretty good idea. They got hit immolation, bad luck. But immolation has been buffed as you see it even hits the air round. Yeah, guys, again, a lot of information is coming in. But all you guys need to understand is that we got a sick game coming up. We have the... Uh, <laughs> we can actually lose 20 points or gain 10. Um, I mean, I want to gain 10, right? If we gain 10, we are officially over 1700 ELO, which is where we want to be. So that's going to be pretty sick. It's climbing the ladder, having some fun, man. I'm, I'm excited to see where this climb brings us, right? I'm excited for sure. Uh, so all we need now is just solidify our DPS with more of these um, Zeus's. Here, since I have a lot of chaos damage, I have, what, two Archon Souls last year. So it taps into a soul to, and emerges another. Okay, so basically this one taps into this one and emerges as an Archon Soul. Is that what I understand here? I can't give you guys a, like a perfect overview. I feel like I should have learned a little bit. Like, as you guys know, they're multiplying, right? So do I want to purposely make them die? You understand me? Let's see, are they gaining mana? This guy's, this one is full mana. Kind of check it out. Okay, this one died. It multiplied, right? It morphed into an Archon Soul, which does a lot more damage. Okay, I mean, this is really good. Especially for, like, these siege rounds. This is really freaking good. Uh, am I going to be able to push? That's the question, right? I feel like I'm a little bit... I mean, I, I, I'm pretty comf comf comfortable here, especially for next round since I have Zeus. I don't think I'm going to be in trouble, so I could just... Okay, we're resending, apparently. Uh, Yeah, this is pretty good. Resend, this should be good. We have very solid... I mean, we're pretty solid next round, so I feel pretty comfortable because of, like, the mass pierce. I just hope my teammate is going to hold. Yeah, he's fine. Oh, maybe he's going to be le ever so slightly leaking because he's fighting in the plus four. That's fine. If small leaks, that gives us the opportunity to send a little, little bit more. So, yeah. So again, guys, this new version really promotes like early aggressive play. As you guys, <laughs> some of the uh, viewers, long time viewers will uh, know me for that just because I would say pressure all the time, right? And it kind of became a meme that I'm pressuring my opponents all the time, but Mr. Pressure, anyways. So what do what do they have? G.O.D., uh, Tuscars, Ogres, L.O.D. So very good units overall, but yeah, they should be in trouble next because I'm not, cons I don't think... I don't think, like, uh, Tusks are too good this patch. They've been nerfed quite a bit. This guy, oh my god, god leak. Dude, what a beast! Only leaking one unit of 20 HP. <laughs> and by the way, they didn't even get a scout of our units because they were out of sight. Because Zeus have quite a bit of range, so they didn't get a scout on our units, which, which is actually pretty good. No send. Classic me keeping a little bit of lumber simply because I'm freaking talking with you guys, right? Classic, classic. Guys, if you only understand how difficult it is to commentate, you know, play high level <laughs> and uh, make sure that I'm relatively entertaining for you guys. But I kind of like the DPS of the souls. The only thing I see is you need something to frontline for it, right? Because you kind of have to keep them alive and have these die last resort type of thing. Potentially. I'm not sure. Honestly, I'm really not sure. But you guys let me know what you, what's your interpretation of this uh, this kind of like uh, new unit. Do you like it? How do you feel about it? Like, what are your thoughts? I kind of want to know. Uh, let me know in the comments. But yeah, uh, these guys are struggling a, ever so a little bit. That's quite a bit of leak. So that's the difference between like playing in this new patch is it's quite punishing. The thing is they have a very high king. So they could technically all in level, uh, level 10 and just go for a race, which could work potentially, right? 
I'm just going to stay a little bit lower. Uh, do I want to go for one push here? Maybe 9-5 isn't so much of a problem, honestly. I should have probably went for 9-5 at the beginning of the round, not the, at the end. Another cool thing is I could go for feedback, right? Which would uh, kind of give me a little bit of uh, lumber or crystals back. As you guys know from the last video, if you guys didn't have checked uh, out the patch review, uh, you could go for it. Either a Celestial or Feedback Path. The only reason I didn't go for Absorb, kind of absorb a little bit of the leaks we've uh, sent to our opponents. So essentially, every single damage that is dealt upon the King, a big a portion of that will be uh, given back to me as Crystals. So it's a very cool mechanic of the game, but the thing is, the reason why I didn't go for it is because Immolation is in a very overpowered uh, spell at the moment. So it's very difficult to kind of play with... Uh, MLA, uh, to go for feedback simply because you will not get as much damage dealt to the uh, the king as you would like. I guess I, I can make Poppy. So basically what we're... Okay, so this is a very uh, important new kind of technology for this game. So before, like since level 10 has been buffed, right? Which should be nerfed uh, shortly. Uh, the reason why what we're doing at the moment and we're abusing kind of a strategy where is uh, more essential what we're doing is we're making one player of the dual lane hold. So usually, um, obviously level 10 has been buffed, giving extra armor, which makes the round super difficult to deal with. Um, so essentially what, how we're doing to counter that is we're compromising one lane completely, right? So in this case, it's going to be my lane. We're going to make it literally leak on purpose just so I can value as much as possible on, on Poppy's side. What, and that pretty much what it does is it guarantees a hold over here even though I'm leaking, but it's going to be a massive hold. So essentially, the game is not designed for you to pretty much all put all most of your units on this side. So we're kind of abusing a mechanic in the game that will oh, nice nice hold here uh, that it wouldn't be in place usually if you know what I mean. And it's going to force us. It's going to make us guarantee a nice hold here and hopefully a nice hold on the carry lane and only me that I'm going to be leaking. And what that. The purpose of that strategy is us to kind of like send big on round 10 and put a much rage. And we try to like uh, eliminate these guys on round 10. That has been pretty much our climbing strategy for quite a bit of time. I shouldn't be saying this because it's a good way for us to abuse the patch at the moment. So uh, I kind of like the, the new... I mean, the thing is, it's not kind of abuse. It's just simply understanding how the patch works and the kind of like uh, the way to play around it. A rate, oh, actually, it's a way for you to kind of play around the patch, which I feel like is not abused. It's simply just using um, whatever is given to you, essentially. So I, I, th I think literally it's a good, it's a good strategy, no matter what. Here we go, boys. So here comes the strategy. So I pretty much essentially full built on Poppy, as you guys know. They are sending pretty much as we predicted. I built so many Zeus's, so Poppy should be very comfortably holding here. So as you see, I'm going to be leaking no matter what. The bosses do have like an absurd amount of armor. So it's very difficult for us to hold. I built like I think five or six uh, Zeus's. So maybe we're going to even be able to... Oof, yeah, that's, this is the problem. And all the units are running through. So this is what I don't like about this shadow. He did surge, which is good. Uh, but either way, these units wouldn't have went up here. They would have went down and would have aggroed. The only thing I'm really happy about... Let me just taunt so we don't troll the game. Uh, 10 leagues, 12 leagues, so we have a little bit more leagues, but both solo, uh, well, both uh, laners are going to be fine holding this, no problem. And yeah, I mean, as the strategy predicted, this is uh, working wonders at the moment. The only thing is, let's see if they hold. Okay, I mean, Wyvern's Tusks, uh, it seems like both opponents, or both teams will move on to mid-game, which usually never really happens. So this is exciting stuff. We're actually going to be moving to mid-game, and... Uh, we should have uh, quite a bit of fun because usually games do not go past 10. So, I mean, we got a novelty at the moment. Very exciting stuff. Let's push ever so slightly. I should have pushed during the round. That's my bad. But uh, no, what I'm going to be doing is moving most of these units back because I do need these <laughs> units to kind of hold or else I'm going to be in trouble. Uh, as you see, some of these units are going to require a little bit of gold to move. So that's a new change, by the way. For, so uh, for people that didn't know, you can actually move units uh, multiple times. The only difference, I guess, it's going to cost you a little bit of gold. But eh. it is what it is, right? It is what it is. It's not like it matters too much. Uh, so I do have Archon Souls here. I don't know if I want these upgraded, honestly. 
Uh, I do have solid DPS with these Zeus's and I could pr probably hold 12 very comfortably. So they did send. Uh, so let's check out the income. Let's check out the game state at the moment. So we are at Arena, 979799. Income is a little bit low compared to the other older patches. You would have consi consistently 200 income, but I didn't have the early game units to really push hard, I think. And I did lose a lot of value on round 10. It leaked a few times, so it's kind of normal that my score is a little bit lower. Check out our opponents, 9-5. I'm pretty much matching this guy at the moment for higher push. Uh, carry lane has invested quite a bit of value, uh, which is normal, I guess. Nine six, very low, lower push. Incognito uh, has insane push at the moment, and we're losing arena, which is kind of a little bit unfortunate. Zeus is usually do very well on this round, so uh, they took the win. Even though we have quite a bit, <laughs> quite a bit of Zeus's, which is unfortunate, but uh, it is what it is. I think going for Seraphim isn't too bad of an idea here. I might try to work towards that uh, shortly. Uh, maybe even right now. By the way, do you guys want me to do a uh, tier list? Um, would be fun for me to do a tier list. If you guys are interested, uh, let me know down in the comments. I'll do a tier list of the new units and pretty much see... Uh, kind of inform myself and just give my honest opinion on the uh, new units at the moment and see which ones are actually strong and all that cool stuff. I don't know if I'll do a little bit like Oreo, like uh, multiple, depending on the game state, like... If it's early, late, or mid game, I'll probably do like a generic one. Um, but eventually, I mean, at the end of the day, what I'm going to do is just a very simple uh, tier list that will uh, englobe everything. Um, would be fun, I guess, at the beginning of the video or even at the end. Doesn't really matter. Uh, could be fun to do. Uh, can send. That's quite. It's going to be difficult. How, what, what ability do we have? We have Stomp. Are we leaking here? Oh, we're leaking, which is unfortunate. Uh, we need we need a bit of king. So they did send. I didn't talk too much about that, but they did send a little bit. So what? Um, two units. It's gonna make us leak ever so slightly. Oh, maybe we don't need it. Actually, actually, we're good. I thought uh, Poppy would leak. Honestly. Or him. I guess we're everyone's like almost holding. See, see what I mean about like uh, game really relying on early game. Me just leaking a few units here is the difference between the few leaks I did at the beginning. And and this is the problem. I'm leaking like so small and it's really annoying. So because that doesn't allow me to push. I'm still gonna put you pushing a little bit, but it's just really unfortunate. So that's why you really have to play for early game, guys. The new meta is just win early game, overbuild. Do not push too much. Which is, the problem is that's literally the opposite of what we used to do, right? So, anyways, we'll see how it goes. I'm still adapting to the patch. I won't be playing perfect. Uh, that's completely normal. Got the Insta Rage. Don't need to worry since they simply just sent on 11. Usually sending on 11, especially on this patch, I think it's a bad idea. Uh, because it's going to be, a, it's gonna, we're going to counter on 12 quite hard, so... That's the, uh, I mean, it, it, it's pretty much the same as last patch too. So anyways, as you see, TB's working wonders at the moment. Only thing is Plague in the back, kind of like uh, <laughs> Pepega, but either way, holding pretty comfortably. I'm happy. Let's see how many leaks they do, uh, but we should be holding pretty fine. Everyone has killed, eliminated their champion except Poppy, but we should be pretty good. So let's see how this one plays out. So here they leaked a little bit, like 60 ish creeps. I'm going to go for two times feedback. Um, the cost of this is what? 50 plus 60, that's 110 gold. And I'm going to check how much lumber we're going to be getting back from just the DPS Delta King. It's a good opportunity for me to kind of showcase this uh, this path of this new, new kind of like dynamic to the game. As you see at the moment, it is upgraded at 0.4%. So absorb is 3 out of 10. It's 2 out of 10 technically, right? So I'm getting currently 0.4% of the damage dealt to the king. It will be received back as crystals. So it's a good way for us to receive and get a little bit more income. Uh, got it too. Uh, it's not like it matters too much at the moment, but we'll see. I'm excited to see how this one is going to play out with Absorb. We're going to ASL set eight. So wait, we actually know. Auto clear screen to eight so we can actually see how many crystals we get back. So we see we got 200 crystals. If I got this upgrade a few more times, I probably would have had more. 
So the equivalent, the 0.4% of the damage dealt was equivalent to 200, um, which I guess is fine. Not the worst, not the best type of thing. So I'm going to take it. It's still like a decent amount of... Uh, it's. I mean, it's not the best, not the worst. I, I still enjoy the fact that we got um, that amount of gold. I mean, it's not bad when you think about it, right? It can't be bad. <laughs> uh, so yeah, let's play Seraphim. We got a little bit of value on this guy, which is nice. Um, probably should have just kept him to level one. I gave, I think I gave, I put out too much. Uh, let's go for some knights, which are going to be good on 14. Here we go. So feedback, let's keep on going. If they were going to be going on for round 16 send, I'm not sending whatsoever simply because I love Zeus. Lose Zeus is just so much DPS. I have very good units. There's no point of me rerolling yet. I mean, I could probably reroll a big a big issue of me in the past is just not rerolling and keeping this roll for a long time, which is obviously a very bad thing to do. Uh, but if you have very good units, I mean, just keep them, right? But am I am I actually going to be leaking here? I'm mostly going to be leaking. Nice. Yeah, I am leaking. Wow. Plague now procs at the end of the round. This is such a yikes. All units are like one HP. Oh no, this is a disaster. <laughs> Duel. <laughs> Duel is trolling, man. <laughs> Me and Puppy were both trolling. Oh no, this is bad. Yeah, 13 seems like a very hard round. Again, oh, by the way, guys, all flying rounds have 5% evasion. As you see, miss, miss, miss. It's a massive, it's a massive buff. It's 5% seems like a low amount, but it, it's a lot. Look at how much, how much, how many misses there are. Like 13 is a viable way, like place to send, honestly. It doesn't seem like it, but it is. Uh, let's see if, if if it pays dividends to go revive again, but I don't think so. Let's give it a shot though. Maybe maybe it works out for the best. He's going for a G.O.D. Level 5 Seraphim. Uh, hopefully we get a nice Zeus revive. Would be pretty sick. Maybe it's not going to work out. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, they are... Oh no, they're sending. I should have... Wait, why did I not surge? Again, I'm not used to this patch, man. Yeah, Zeus, really bad revive. Look at this. In annihilated in one second. So I guess I should have just revived Cavaliers, right? P a plague still not working. Got a TB revive instead of a Cavalier, which is super bad. This revive, it's plus 30 damage. It's really, it's it's really unfortunate. I should have surged. He went for a cleave, which is good. Maybe I should have shared a little bit more. Yeah, unfortunate. Uh, maybe I should have given this guy. The thing is, like, Plague is not working whatsoever. Like, I know it's been nerfed, but still, it's not working whatsoever, which is really unfortunate. That's quite a few leaks. Uh, we're definitely going to be forced to king here. Because of me, I guess. Uh, do we need provoke? I don't think we need to provoke. Yeah, we're good. I guess he's going to be controlling King. Let's just focus on... I don't even know if Royal... You almost made it back to 70 after I took it away from you. <laughs> Still not over, man. Still not over, man. 70 leaks. That's a lot of leaks for sure. Uh, Poppy did use um, Royal a little bit early, which is good. Because he's going to essentially have it off cooldown. We have Stomp, so I mean, it's not bad. Uh, we should be in a pretty good spot to hold this. I, has Royal been there? Uh, buffed? I'm not even sure. Oh, man. This is going to be closer if he gets a a stomp in. Oh, no. That's barely that's barely a, a heal, which is unfortunate. That's fine. That's fine. It could have been worse. It could have been worse. I'm happy we got Royal. Uh, it's going to be good for other rounds. But, yeah, really unfortunate. If I held maybe like <laughs> five or ten more units, we wouldn't have lost that heal. It's just uh, pretty much part of the game, I guess. Part of the game. And here we go. We sell on round 16. Uh, been kind of leaking a few uh, few units on this. 15 and all that stuff, which is kind of unfortunate. But we got level 15 Seraphim. Uh, Zeus Revive. Not the best spells at the moment. Uh, not the best damage. But, I mean, it's still decent uh, revive. If I'm being honest. But, you know, it could have been worse. Again, it got massively nerfed. It, it used to have, like, 100 and extra damage or so. But... 
still leaking quite a few. So Plague used to always works at the end of the round, which is unfortunate. Unfortunately, we got Archmage. We should be holding most of these units, which is good enough. Uh, but since we did leak on 14, we had <laughs> to send just a few units. So we sent, uh, what, one Inferno. We sent uh, some Auras and pretty much Rage. But 16 got buffed heavily uh, simply because revives are not that good anymore, as you see. So still 130 leaks with so little send. This is how crazy it is. Oh, wait. Absorb. Absorb. Go. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, they went Time Presence. Time Presence has been buffed so hard, dude. Let's see how they hold this. I mean, we're up, we're, we're going to use Absorb. Get it as high as possible because King is going to take an absurd amount of damage here. <laughs> absorb amount of damage. <laughs> oh, that was so bad. Why did I say that? No, no. <laughs> oh, my God. That was such a bad joke. Uh, anyways. All right, let's go Absorb. I mean, I'm going to level it up as much as I can because this is going to be my way for me to get a lot of crystals. I think we reset, honestly. Because I should be... No, we reset. The point of, like, Absorb is us resending here. So we're going heavy on Absorb at the moment. Maybe I'm overcommitting too much on Absorb at the moment. So it's 1.4% of the total damage that dealt to the... <laughs> the freaking king? The... the, uh, the Right? It's going to be insane. How much do you guys think I'm going to be getting? I think, like, about 2k. Probably easily 2k, right? Because calculate, right? When you think about it, 50k HP times 1.4%. How much is that? That's going to be insane. Someone do the math in the comments, but still, it's going to be a lot. It's going to be freaking a lot. Go for one Infernal, and then we all Surge. I think we need to all Surge. They're going to be barely surviving. See how many freaking time presences they get? That's insane. They got three. Oh my god, that's crazy. That is crazy, dude. Oh, he built there, so I couldn't build. Nice. Uh, I mean, we're gonna get two mermaids, which is good. Good healing, right? Good healing, two outcasts. I'm not complaining. Plus, we have a lot of these cavaliers. So this should be pretty good. I mean, this should be a pretty easy hold, I think, right? Level 17 Seraphim, all surging at the moment. How much- wait, how many crystals did we get? I didn't even check. I mean, we got a lot, right? Make sure that we're sending, right? All right, go, go, go. Dude, I can't believe someone... Hopefully, I put it on screen. Hopefully, I remember to actually edit, edit this in because I kind of wanted to know how many crystals I got from Absorb. Holy, he got 2.8k. How much Absorb? He's at level 10 Absorb. I got like 1k. I probably got 3k. I, I probably got... Yeah, I probably got it something in between then. Between 1k and 3k, right? So, that's insane. I mean, do we push here? I mean, I'm not even holding? Wait, I'm not... Yeah, I am holding. Shoot, dude. This is closer than expected. Wow, I'm actually... Imagine if they sent. What the hell? So they're leaking, but I don't know how much they're leaking, though. One mistake, and you're done for the game. This guy's not... He didn't even surge. What? I mean, he is... I mean, in my defense, he has Medusa plus, like... Is it Cleave? No, it's Revive, eh? Yeah, it seems like it's Revive. Oh, he has level 20 Seraphim, too. Let's go revive. Builder plays Seraphim. That's GG. Yeah, that's definitely GG. That's too many leaks. And we're going to be maxing out Absorb just because we can. <laughs> Cry is free just like Ikto Elo. <laughs> yeah, unfortunate. Very nice. GG. It's level 17. We got the dub. We got 10 Elo. That's awesome, man. I'm really... Dude, I'm really happy. That's really nice. Hopefully, I should be able to edit this and... Uh, now you take it. Yeah, GG. He's being a good sport about it, which is nice. But yeah, we take the we take the ELO, baby. We take the ELO. Let's go. If I stack like you, you never win. Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Either way, it was a fun game. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy this new showcase of the patch. 
climb to, uh, you know, road to rank one episode. We are climbing. We're going to be hopefully doing a second game. Not this episode, but most likely next episode. So I do more episodes for you guys. But I hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure to like the video. Subscribe if you did. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Take care. Oh.